Have you noticed those viral AI videos where abandoned cartoon characters explore creepy places in first-person view? The POV feels real, the atmosphere is dark, and somehow they pull millions of views. What's crazy is you don't need advanced skills to make them. Let me show you how people are actually creating these videos. Step 1. Prompt Preparation before anything else, we need a prompt. But don't stress about writing one from scratch. I've already created a master prompt to make everything faster and easier for you. You can find the link to it on my website, and yes, the link is in the description. Inside that master prompt, you only need to fill in two things. The first one is the cartoon title. For example, SpongeBob SquarePants. The second one is the character name, like SpongeBob himself. Once you've filled those in, just select the entire prompt and copy it. Next, open ChatGPT, paste the prompt, and hit Send. After that, ChatGPT will instantly generate two ready-to-use prompts for you. The one at the top is for creating an image, and the one below it is for turning that image into a video. Step 2. Image Generation now let's turn that prompt into an actual image. Take the text to image prompt you got from ChatGPT and open Google Gemini. If you already have another image generator you like, that works too. Make sure you're logged in to your Google account. Then choose the Create Images feature. Paste the prompt. Hit Send and wait a few seconds. That's it. Your AI image is done. Save it, because this image is what we'll use to create the video. Step 3. Video generation. Now comes the most satisfying part, turning the image into a cinematic POV urbex video. Copy the image to video prompt from ChatGPT and open your video generation tool. I personally use Google Flow, but you can use any similar tool. Create a new project, choose Frames to Video, and upload the image you just generated. After that, paste the image to video prompt. Before generating, make sure the aspect ratio is set to portrait 9 to 16 and the model is VO 3.1 fast. Once everything's ready, hit send and wait a few minutes. When it's done, your AI POV urbex video is ready to save to your gallery. From here, you can repeat the same process with different cartoon characters, combine multiple clips using any video editing app, and your video is ready to be uploaded on TikTok, Reels, or YouTube Shorts. But here's the thing, most viral POV urbex videos use one small detail that makes the footage feel uncomfortably real, and I haven't told you that yet. If you're curious, check the next video, because once you know it, you can't unsee it.